modeling is also a change of direction for Debia Veyrock. She was on track to becoming an engineer until she met Jenny and David at the auditions. Now a modeling career is her sole ambition. The scouts see her potential, but she's not there yet. So how are you feeling after New York? I think it's really developed me even further. Huh? Could you see yourself being away from home and sort of starting out on a new life? Yeah, definitely. When we were there, I was basically picking out like potential apartments for me to live in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could choose any city to start your career in, where would, where would you choose? I would say Paris or New York. Great answer. Good answer. <laughs> Very diplomatic. <laughs> so one of the things that we wanted to talk to you about is this week we're doing things a little bit differently. We are tailoring tasks to each individual girl. So you're going to be on your own this week. One of the things that we want to talk to you about is your walk. We have a little, um, a little bit of when you were in Carton House. You see how you're sort of the top half of your body is sort of back a little bit. You're a little bit stiff. You're sort of 80% there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we really felt like if we could have somebody work with you specifically on that. Yeah, I agree. The three girls are within touching distance of the IMG contract. There's a lot at stake. Jenny and David have already pinpointed the girls' weak spots, but the message has not sunk in. This is their last chance to address them. Modeling is a competitive business. To be successful, you must make an impact. Ellen needs to nail castings and impress key industry people. Not so easy for a polite schoolgirl. Paul Mussolides has coached actors such as Killian Murphy, Whoopi Goldberg and Kim Cattrall. He's going to show Ellen how to make a greater impression at meetings. The lesson starts as soon as she enters the room. Ellen, how are you? Hi. Don't move. Stay where you are. When she came in for the first time, I purposefully didn't want her to come up to me and shake hands and do the polite thing. Because that's something that she does very, very well. I wanted her to feel slightly out of her comfort zone. Can you write your name at the top of the page? A name that you really dislike. What name you'd like to be called if your name wasn't Ellen? What is the most memorable thing you've done in the last six months? She's quite methodical in the way that she thinks. She's quite methodical in the way that she works. So she likes to prepare and she likes things to be right. So this was not a right or wrong situation. It was, it was putting her under pressure to give a response. Choose a profession that you would really love and write it in green at the top. A profession that you would least like to do. I was really shocked at first um, when he just told me to stand in the chairs and write these random words, and okay. my mind completely went blank. A word that represents how you would like people to perceive you. What would you hate them to think of you? Okay. One of the criticisms that we have of Ellen is that she doesn't fully let us know how she's feeling at any particular time. I want you to be really honest. What is the thing that you least like about me? Not what I make you do. What is the thing that you least like about me as a person? She had to say something about me that she didn't like. And that was really challenging for her because she had to put her neck out. Because what Ellen does really well is that she edits before she speaks. If you could change any feature to make me a better looking person, be honest. Do you think I think that you're bubbly? Um... Do you know why you're here? Um, because I don't really leave a lasting impression in two-minute castings. To be honest with you, Ellen, I'm going to be really honest with you here. Yeah. You haven't made an impression on me yet. Yeah. You haven't made an impression. I mean, uh, there's nothing really there that makes me kind of go, oh, that's interesting. I want you to be Ilsa. She had to do things in her class with Paul that were things that she probably never imagined she would have to do. So what do you think physically would happen if you were... Ilsa, and you hated work, and you are a chicken keeper, and you're really snobby and really impatient. I wouldn't smile as much. Okay, so stop smiling. She's polite, she's appropriate, and I think that one of the things that we wanted to do was pull her out of her comfort zone a little bit. You're interviewing uh, for a job as head chicken keeper at the um, National Chicken Farm. Yeah. So like... It's just not a very good job. We've been finding ways for her to become spontaneous in her response. Have a special way with chickens. Oh. I think I do understand um, what he's trying to get me to do, kind of just an exaggerated form of me. One of the things that Paul worked on was saying, you know, you don't have to take your cues from other people. You can walk in and be yourself and assert yourself. And that's something that she needed to learn. So now we come to the last one, which is the most exciting one. 
Because it's you. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to come in. Okay, because the first time you came in, you looked a little bit nervous, a little bit shy. These are all my perceptions. Yeah. Okay, so that's my reality. So whatever people see, that's their reality. You can't okay. say anything that will change their mind because that's what they get. So we have to get this first impression thing really working for you. Okay. I want you to become like a really enhanced version of yourself because there's no room for, for any errors here because I could be the person who'll give you your first break. I could be the person who knows somebody who might give you your first break. Hi. Hello. How are you? And what's your name? Ellen. Oh, hi, Ellen. Have a hi. seat. Your uncle, who was a very good friend of mine from college, told me that um, you want to be a model. Why should you be the person who's going to make it? I really enjoy kind of the um, the personal experiences that you get when... OK, so just go back on that sentence. You said kind of. I really, I really like um, kind of interacting. No, there's the kind of again. OK. I really like interacting with people. Why don't you go and, sit, go and talk to somebody at a bus stop? I mean, what, what, what has, what's modelling got to do with um, talking to I, people? Well, I like the, the way that everything is... When you're a model, but Stay bubbly. Is put. I'm challenging you, but stay bubbly. He really called her on a lot of things and really pushed her to give him a truthful answer and not necessarily the correct answer. I was pushing her and pushing her and pushing her because I wanted to see the spark. What's the one thing that really makes you want to be a model more than anything else? Can only say one word now. What's it gonna be? The excitement. Oh, I'm so glad you said that because it's the first time you've used an emotive word. When you're excited, what, what happens to you? Um, I know I love being. Kind no, 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 no. What happens to you when you're excited? I get really happy. It was really hard to try and make like definitive emotional statements. I kind of just was struggling to, for the word, so I just wanted to please him. <laughs> I feel invincible. Fantastic. And... What, is, what was that little kind of gesture? That, that's great. Can we have more of it? Your whole face just changes, and it lights up when you actually commit to an emotion. Okay. If we don't believe that you're excited about something then we're not going to get excited for you. I absolutely love modeling. It makes me really excited and it just it gives me so much energy when I get to do things like photo shoots and catwalks. I just love the adrenaline that I get when I'm walking down the catwalk. And I love the kind of, when you get to see your pictures after a photo shoot and you look at them in your book and you just get so happy to see them. When she's spontaneous in her response, she lights up. It's all about her connecting and committing to the words that she uses. Why do you not do that normally? I don't know why, I just, um, because I'm not, I don't act like that normally. One of the worst things people can say to you is to be yourself. What we want, as I said earlier on, is for you to be the best possible version of yourself. Hopefully Jenny and David will notice the difference. I'm hoping that I've unearthed a spark that will really give her the confidence to go for it. She's really good at taking on direction. And when she connects to the emotion, she's brilliant.